Hello. Hi, Laura. How are you? Good, good, good. Thanks for joining me. For some reason, uh, everything froze up there for a minute. I don't know. It must oh. be uh, your icy presence. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I froze everything. It's never happened before. So <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I, don't take power, it. Powers I don't even know about. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I like your background. Very cool background yeah. you got there. Thank you, thank you. It's the uh, the sanctum sanctorum. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's get started. Um, uh, just uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Laura Knapp. She's a member of the uh, Naperville Writing Group. I've been acquainted with for a few years, and uh, Laura's the only prose writer I asked to read at my book launch for the ghost of Jamie McVeigh. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. That was yeah. fun. You've been doing a great job uh, with your writing. I, I really, everybody uh, enjoys critiquing your work. There's not much work to do, but it's always uh, fun to read what you're working on. Thank you. You've got a lot, a lot of your short pieces have been published. You had some success with that. Any uh, places, any, any uh, publications that you'd want to mention? Yeah, well, it, um, the last one that I got published, it's been a little while, but um, in the spring, March or April, um, the print version of Juked um, published a, a short story of mine called Meerkats, which I brought in to Naperville Writers Group a while. That was probably like a good year and a half ago that I brought that in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, about the family dinner gone awry, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, but hopefully it was, you know, at least kind of funny too. Um, but that, that was the last one I've gotten published. Um, uh, you know, again, that was back in the spring, like March or April, the spring version of, of um, Juked, because um, I've been working on my novel, trying to get that finished up. Um, you know, I brought in that subplot that I, um, you know, is, I'm adding to the novel last night to the group, and that was very helpful. It's always really great to bring things into the Naperville Writers Group because, you know, they're, they're always very, you know, positive, but honest. So, you know, I do really appreciate that to get, uh, cause you know, you, you really want to know like, does this work or not? Um, I think it was kind of hard that piece, you know, because it was kind of separated. It's like a subplot that's going to be broken out throughout the novel. So it was a little, probably hard to um, kind of piece it all together, but, um, but I did appreciate their feedback. Um, yeah, so I, I do want to get back to focusing on short stories again, though, because that that's my first love, you know, I, I really like the short story, I love reading short stories, and, and I really like writing them, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, you're very good at it. A lot of your stories have this, uh, this sort of a, a cynical humor to it. I don't know if it's uh, based on your experiences with the uh, corporate world and the creatures that inhabit it, but. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I do think, you know, writing the short stories is probably, you know, like my way of working through frustrations too. Yeah, I'm doing this, by the way, on my uh, lunch hour for my corporate job, and of course, it's been you a very are. frustrating morning. So there might be a good story to come out of that. <laughs> yeah. Wellness Incorporated uh, certainly is probably the epitome, at least of what we've run into, of your, uh, you know, commentary on uh, the business world. I guess. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I think it's my. Um, my um, magnum opus, opus magnum, what is <laughs> for, yeah, corporate satire and my true feelings about working for corporate America. Yeah, the problem is, see, I grew up with uh, teachers, with a lot of teachers. You were a teacher. And, um, and teachers like to complain, I have to say. That's my, my um, experience. 
so I always thought I was going to be a teacher. And then, you know, after hearing my mom and my brother and oh, uncles yeah. like complain, like, well, I don't want to go into teaching. Why would I do that? <laughs> right, right. Um, but no, I, I should have gone into teaching, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, your job is, is a creative job, but, uh, you know, teaching saps a lot of your creative energy, too. Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm sure it does. Yeah, funnel it into your classwork. And, but uh, so the new work, the 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 novel wellness wellness incorporated is that? Uh, well being incorporated. Well being incorporated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're putting some finishing touches on it, tweaking it a little bit, and uh, looking for representation for it, and hopefully you'll uh, get some success there. Thank you. Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, I started doing some of the querying during the summer. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, it, it, I, I think there were a lot of um, assistance, you know, to agents with not a whole lot to do at home, because I, my, I had some experience of like sending out query letters in the evening, and by the time I woke up in the morning at 6 a.m., I already had the rejection wow. waiting yeah. for in the email box. That's like, interesting. Wow. Yeah. It took them less time to reject it than it took me to write it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that certainly wasn't my experience uh, a couple of years ago, querying for, you know, looking for yeah. an for Ghost of Jamie McVeigh. And oh, okay. There was some long waits and some non, oh, really? a lot of non-responses, you know. Okay. So I'm glad that you uh, got the, some uh, fruitful uh, responses anyway, some quick responses. Right. I guess if they're going to reject me, I'd rather they reject me quickly than make me wait and then reject me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the business, I guess. Right. Right. Uh, anything you want to tell uh, people about Wellbeing Incorporated? Um, yeah, it's, um, I, I call it a, a, a corporate satire and suspense novel. Um, you know, my protagonist is a younger woman um, who's desperate for a job. She's been unemployed for a couple of years, nannying for her sister, not enjoying it. So she takes um, a job with the company, even though it seems a little cultish, a little strange. Um, and there's a very, you know, somebody, uh, she witnesses, um, you know, a suicide while she's interviewing, but she still, she still takes the job because she's that desperate. And of course, everything starts out being just, you know, great, you know, peachy at her new job, but then, um, things start getting a little stranger, a little more cultish, coworkers start disappearing. Um, she, you know, tries to escape the clutches of the corporation, but it ends up not being quite so easy. Um, and then, you know, she eventually finds out what's really going on and, um, you know, has to make a, a stark choice, um, you know, and finds out, you know, the, the, the mystery of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, but I, I also mean it to be humorous, you know, and, and as we talked about a satire of, you know, corporate, the corporate world. Um, so hopefully it will get out there and uh, people will find it, you know, entertaining and humorous. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, your sense of humor uh, is, is, is subtle, but uh, it, it's enjoyable when you, when you get it. And uh yeah, definitely it takes a dark turn from time to time, <laughs> but uh, it, it all seems to work. So I uh, wish you luck with that piece. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I, um, again, I have to plug Naperville Writers Group because I have brought in, you know, chapters of um, Wellbeing Incorporated and, you know, their feedback is both helpful and encouraging. So, I mean, it actually, and I think I said last night, a group last night, you know, the subplot that um, was suggested by Greg, who's a right. member 
of Naperville Writers Group. And um, as soon as he suggested it, I knew like, oh my God, yes, like that's that's a great suggestion. I absolutely have to do that. Yeah, so, people like you have some uh, some uh, really uh, accomplished writers there with a lot of experience and yeah, uh, yeah great instincts. And you yourself have uh, made some great comments too on, on my work. So, oh, We're good, good. Self admit admiration society, mutual admiration. Right. <laughs> On top of everything else. Right, right. Why not? You, might, you need that. <laughs> right. After, yeah, after the morning I've had, I need that. So thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me. And uh, uh, I owe you some crit critiques on, on well-being. I know that uh, uh, it's hard to sit in front of the computer for too long. I know. I know. That's a big ask. And, you know, actually, let me send you, if you don't mind, the latest copy with this new subplot that oh I yeah you've already read. inserted it in right i have i'm kind of reading through it one last time just to make sure it fits you know so okay um, that'd be great why. okay yeah it'll be a few weeks but yeah you got my email i appreciate it very much all right well Thank lunch you. lunch time's almost over so you better get right started. gotta get back to it <laughs> thanks again laura thanks for inviting me ray sure. bye bye, -bye.